Hi friends, welcome to Wisdom is Power channel. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe, like, comment, and share this video. And click the notification bell to receive more wisdom videos like this. Thank you. So right now I'm going to discuss the inductance of a single phase transmission line. The inductance of a single phase two wire line or the loop inductance can be calculated as L is equal to four times 10 to the negative seven natural logarithm of D over R prime where our unit will be Henry per meter. Where D is the distance between conductors, also called the GMD, or geometric mean distance, or sometimes it is also known as mutual distance, or D sub M. Where R prime is equal to R E raised to negative one fourth, or simply equals to 0 0.7788 R. That is the GMR, or the geometric mean Radius, where R prime is GMR, also known as self GMD in some books, where R is the radius of the conductor. So the inductance per conductor of a single phase line consisting of two identical solid round conductors separated by distance D is simply L sub A is equal to 2 times 10 to the negative 7 LN or natural logarithm of D over R prime Henry per meter. So some books use the GMD for the geometric mean distance or the geometric mean distance divided by the geometric mean radius. So some other books also use GMD over self GMD. But it's all the same and repairing to one. GMD is the geometric mean distance and GMR is the geometric mean radius. Also the self GMD is also the geometric mean radius or simply R prime. So some books also use uh, D sub M or the mutual distance divided by D sub S or the self GMD. So let us try to solve practice problem number one. So a single phase 10 kilometer transmission line has conductors with a diameter of four centimeter each. If the distance between the conductors is 100 centimeter, what is the loop inductance of the line? So let us assume we have the conductors here. Uh, each diameter is four centimeter and they are separated at 100 centimeter in distance. So the other given, our frequency is equals to 60 hertz. So let us assume, because there is no given, so we will use 60 hertz for the frequency. And D is 100 centimeter, the distance between two conductors, and the diameter of each conductor is 4 centimeter. And the total length of the transmission line is 10 kilometers. So we are asked to solve the total inductance of the line. So to solve that, let us uh, solve for the radius first. So radius is equal to diameter divided by 2. So that is simply 4 centimeter divided by 2. That is equals to 2 centimeter. So we can now solve for the R prime or the GMR that is equal to 0 0.7788 R. So we simply plug in the value of the radius, which is two centimeter. Then R prime is equals to 1.56 centimeter. So now we can substitute all the given values or the solved values into our equation. The inductance is equal to 4 times 10 to the negative 7 natural logarithm D over R prime. Then we will substitute the D is equal to 100 and R prime is 
then the total inductance will be 1.664 times 10 to the negative 6 Henry per meter. So since we are uh, asked for the loop inductance of the line, then we have to remove the per meter or the length per conductor of the line. So the inductance per, conduct per meter or per conductor multiplied by the length of the transmission line, which is 10,000 meters, because that is 10 kilometer. So the meter, the unit of meters will be canceled. Then the final answer for the inductance is 16.64 times 10 to the negative 3 Henry, or simply 16.64 milli Henry. So that is the the loop inductance of the line. So for practice problem number two, calculate the loop inductance of a single phase, 60 hertz, 25 kilometer transmission line consisting of two parallel conductors, 1500 millimeter apart and 15 millimeter in diameter. So determine also the reactance of the line. So again, we have two conductors separated by 1500 millimeter and the diameter is 15 millimeter. So the frequency is 60 hertz. The distance between these two conductors is 1500 millimeter. The diameter is what this is 15 millimeter only, not 150. So the length of the transmission line is to 25 kilometers. Then we are asked to solve for the inductance of the line and the reactance of the line. So first, we need to solve for the radius. So that is equals to diameter divided by 2. And 15 millimeter divided by 2 is 7.5 millimeter. So now we can solve for the R prime or the GMR, which is equals to 0 0.7788 R. And simply plug in the, the computed value of radius, which is 7.5 millimeter, then R prime will be equals to 5.84 millimeter. So since we have already the value of the separation distance and also the R prime, then we can solve the inductance 4 times 10 to the negative 7 ln 1500 divided by 5.84. And we will get 2.22 times 10 to the negative 6 Henry per meter. So since we are uh, asked for the, the loop inductance, uh, so later we will uh, multiply the value of the inductance by the length of the transmission line. So X sub L, we all know that the X sub L or the reactance, inductive reactance, that is equals to omega multiplied by the L. So if the frequency is 60 Hertz, omega is equals to 377 radians per second. And if the frequency is equals to 50 Hertz, uh, omega is equals to 314 radians per second. So again, so the inductance is equals to 2.22 times 10 to the negative 6 Henry per meter. So we will multiply this by uh, 25,000 meters because that is equal equivalent to 25 kilometers. So the unit of meter will be canceled. Then we will get 0 0.06 Henry for the value of the transmission line, oh, I mean the loop inductance of the transmission line. So now, since we have the value of L, so we can substitute it to the value of the inductive reactance, which is omega, that is 377, multiplied by the value of the inductance, that is 0 0.06. Then the value of the inductive reactance, or the reactance of the line, is equal to 22.62 ohms. So this is uh, how the inductive reactance is calculated. 
So if you want to use the frequency, then that will be inductive reactance is equals to 2 pi multiplied by 60, which is the frequency, multiplied by the value of the, the inductance, and you will get the same result with uh, the previous value we computed. So for practice problem number three, a 12 mile single phase 60 hertz transmission line has a conductor spacing of five feet as shown below. Determine the inductance per conductor, the total inductance, and the total inductive reactance if the radius of each conductor is 0 0.2 inch. So again, the conductors are separated five feet and the radius of each conductor is 0 0.2 inch. The distance of separation is five feet and the length, the total length of the transmission is 12 mile. So we are asked to solve for the uh, inductance per conductor, the total inductance, and the inductive reactance. So to solve this, let us solve the GMR, which is R prime, which is 0 0.77888 R, multiplied by R, so that R is equal to 0 0.2 inch. And then we will convert that uh, inch to feet. So that will become uh, the inches, uh, the units of inches will be cancelled. Then R prime or the self GMD, which is also the GMR, which is equal to 0 0.013 feet. Then for the value of the inductance per conductor, so let's let's say L sub A, that is a simply two times 10 to the negative seven LND over R prime. So that is two, pi, two times 10 to the negative seven LN, five feet all over 0 0.013 feet. Then the value of the inductance per conductor is simply 1.19 times 10 to the negative six Henry per meter. So to solve for the inductance, so since this is the loop inductance, the equation for the loop inductance is equal to four times 10 to the negative seven LND over R prime. So simply substitute the values we already computed and the given. The total uh, inductance is equal to 2.38 times 10 to the negative 6 Henry per meter. But uh, since uh, from our previous example, to get the total inductance, we simply get the inductance per uh, conductor multiplied by the total length of the transmission line. But the, the transmission line the length of the transmission line is given in miles. So we have to convert one mile is equal to 5,280 feet and one meter is equal to 3.28 feet. So this will be our conversion factors. So to solve for the inductance, we will multiply it by one meter over 3.28 feet because one meter is equal to 3.28 feet. And one mile is equal to 5,280 feet. So and multiply by the total length of the transmission line. So the, meet, the unit of meter will be canceled. The unit of feet will be canceled also, and also the mile. So the remaining unit will be Henry. So that will be equals to 45.97 milli Henry. And for the value of the inductive reactance, so again, our equation will be X sub L is equals to 2 pi F multiply by the inductance. So since the given is the given frequency is 60 hertz, so our omega that will be 377 multiplied by the value of the inductance, which is 45.97 millihenry. So the inductive reactance is equal to 17.33 ohms. So that's all my friends. So again, if you are new to my channel, 
Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share this video. Click the notification bell to receive more wisdom videos like this. Thank you.